Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different. I have seen this Tune Me challenge going around on YouTube, so that's what I want to try as well. So I'd say without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So the Toonie challenge, that is what I'm going to do today and I've seen this around as I said and I could not resist doing this myself. So what I did is I took a picture that I've made, well it was a little while ago, um, not too long ago though, I was at a wedding and it was a themed wedding and I'm there with my brother so I blurred him out because you know, I don't know if he wants to be on YouTube, I doubt he would, so I blurred him out for that reason because this is not about him, unless he asks. And I wanted to basically make half of myself in this picture a cartoon. So that's what I did and I've changed things up a little bit as well. I wanted to show you guys how I work in Procreate. Now I realize that those who are expert in using Procreate that I've been a little bit difficult when it comes to actually doing the things I did. Not the line art, just the uh, parts that I wanted to lighten in opacity basically. So I had to make sections and put a white layer over them and make sure that the head that I wanted to have cartooned was going to be lighter in opacity so that took a little bit of effort <laughs> um, I have to find a better way of doing this because the way I did it was a little bit backwards and at the time this was the only way that I could think of so that is what I did and I ended up you know using it and it worked perfectly fine and no problems at all but yes it wasn't the easiest method I suppose so I made a selection I copy and pasted that selection I made that whole part white so that's what you see there and I lowered the opacity so that I could see the layer underneath it so that's what I basically did and while I was doing that I could basically put the line art on top of that I'm using basically a lot today I'm really sorry about that so use the line art on top of that to pretty much trace my face and I think this is one of the easiest line art I've ever done because I've had my face to work with and this is not ever how I work I would just like to point that out even if I do commissions or if I'm drawing from a reference or if I really want some someone specific in my art I do not trace any art so this was the very first time that I decided to do this in this way and I figured this would be the easiest way to basically make a cartoon character out of half of myself. So that's what I went for. I did change minor things at the end though. Um, you'll see when I'm coloring in the picture that my hairline, uh, my forehead looks so huge and I... I'm usually not the person who has their picture taken. I'd rather go and take other people's pictures, though I'm not a photographer, but I prefer to just stay out of them because I don't ever really like my pictures. So that's just the kind of person I am. But this one's all right. I kind of like this one and it was a great day. So it has amazing memories behind it as well. And I figured why not, why not? why not show myself to you guys and I know it's been a long time my very first videos that I've done I started out my intro and I believe my outro as well in front of the camera and I figured that that wouldn't really work for me at that point and I moved forward to just showing you guys the art and how that came about and not show myself basically so that's what I went for and yeah, it's, it's just what I did. So once that was done, you can see I tried to have like the swirly things in the middle as well. And that was, I took a little bit of time to get to the right swirls because I wanted it to look nice and flowy and for it to make sense. 
and I suppose it looks nice now and yeah I'm quite happy with that so that's not so bad at all I did use two sections so you can see the top left is just my face and then the bottom right I made cartoon as well so that just so that is just my outfit so that's what I've done I did use the same technique at the bottom right as well I made a selection and I copy and pasted it and I made that all white with a brush and then I reduced opacity there as well so that's what I've done and I think having both sides cartooned makes it look quite nice so I think I did quite well on this challenge <laughs> I don't know if it was a challenge I don't know where it came from it might have been from TikTok I have no idea I do have a TikTok account so if you want to check that out I'll leave a link down in the description box below and you can add me there that is no problem at all so that's what I've done I did take a lot of time as well to make sure that the line art was as good as possible because I did not want to make mistakes I wanted it to look nice and decent and it was alright like the necklace the necklace was a bit like tricky because I couldn't really see with the lower opacity how the necklace was but I know in my head how approximately it looks so that was that was fine and Trace the outfit there as well. So I did my hair, I did my face. Like there's a lot of hair on the side there. And there's part of my outfit that I did not draw in with the line art. So I used I used the liner basically to draw in that line afterwards. And because I forgot to add my outfit in, I was like, this is all hair, but no, it's it's not all hair, Sabrina. Seriously, like think twice so I think I went a little too fast I suppose with this but <laughs> yeah and I really like showing you guys as well where I go in the menus now normally a little disclaimer I usually do not have this many layers when it comes to my normal drawings so I have the first layer is the sketch layer that I have so that's where I use like the pencil brush on and that's where I get my idea out and then I have a second layer and that will be my line art layer that will go on top of the sketch layer and once the whole line art is done I disable the sketch layer so that you don't see any of those and then you come up with just the final piece and the final line art so that is what I did I also want to show you guys a bit more in real time this is not a hundred percent real time this is slightly faster at 200% and it's still quite slow I have to say I was I was a little surprised by the fact that I took so much time and when I checked on the length of this video because I screen recorded this and I did not know that the iPad had that option but it does have that option which is amazing and it means that I can I think I can possibly use this in a live stream as well so that I can have this screen and maybe another screen from a different angle or something I think that will look really nice now I have to figure out how to do it it is one of my goals to do this year so I think having this set up and that you can see the programs that I'm using will be really nice and it's basically a glance into the future of how part of my live streams will look I suppose when it comes to the actual coloring though then I will have just a camera from top showing the picture and then I can just color it in my Copics or whatever I decide to do basically so that's what I've done when I finished the line art over here I did remove like a little scribbly thing from the middle but yeah I just try to fix it as good as I could and I added another layer and there's a thing called drawing assist in the gallery or in procreate in the document that you're working on so when you turn that on and off again then when you go to the actual layer and you click on assist me in drawing it makes perfect straight lines and especially if you choose a brush that is just a monotone line that it doesn't respond to pressure on the pen because usually all the brushes respond to the pressure on the pen 
then it gives you pretty much a really really straight nice line so I really want to make sure that my art was framed that way so that's what I did to make sure that it had a border and I was like if I don't have a border it will look weird and I'm really happy that I did that so once that was done I exported the file and I printed it out and it was time to color in so this is just the speed as I always have it I have to say that I should have started with the top of my head and then work my way down because when I put in the shadow area so I have the skin tone and then a darker version of the skin tone which is like shadowy I could not blend those in as not as well as I wanted to so that was a little bit of a bummer I did use the blush and I'm very much aware please forgive my printer my printer is not a photo is not a photo printer and it did its best so this is the best I could do to make sure that it was printed on the actual paper I suppose it's not too bad from what the actual picture was it was just taken with my mobile phone it was not a fancy picture or anything like that so yeah it was just a selfie basically so I colored in my eyes immediately as well done that and I kind of use all the techniques that I always do so that's what I try to make sure I had going on because it's a cartoon me and it's in my own style and I really like this idea really really like this idea and I have to say it it's quite good I'm quite happy with it and uh, I would say that's obvious because you know I used the picture as a reference and I went over the picture with the line so of course it would like it would look like me and when I cut it in the hair I made a big whoopsie and I did try and rectify that later on as well so I went in with three different e colors and my hair is not it's not red red but it's not brown it's, it's like auburn or something like that I'm, I'm not sure how to call it I suppose so I tried to get in with an earthy kind of red and then with browns on top of that so that's what I did to color in my hair but then at the bottom of the screen in around my neck I put the hair color as well over there and I was like oh no it should not have been there that's a major whoopsie so yeah that is not great on my part I did fix that by going over with the actual colors that I wanted to and including part of like my outfit and I went over with my white paint pen to try and fix that because I did want to make sure that the swirly line that goes in the middle could very easily be seen so that worked out quite well I'm really happy with that that was a good fix <laughs> good thinking so don't fret if you make a mistake in your art there are ways to fix it and this was the only way I can think of for me right now so this is the end of my video guys and this is my drawing my toon me character I hope you enjoyed it I had a lot of fun making it so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate as always and yeah I wish you a good day thank you <laughs> bye